All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to control set up the controls for the eyes. Now, before you do this, make sure that you have your eyes parented to this joint. As you notice, I select this joint. They should both highlight. If I move this controller around, if you have it set up, you'll see the eyes follow around with it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select the eye itself after it's parented to the head and I'm going to make sure you can do a modify center pivot but I'm just going to make sure that I have this set to object and I'm going to center this just slightly a little bit better just like so um, it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect but it, it helps and the closer it is to the exact center um, of rotation point the best results you will have. So shift select the corresponding controller, constrain, aim, hit the settings box, make sure you click maintain, offset, and add. Now when you move this around, it should, uh, excuse me, Select the controller, shift select the eye, constrain, aim. There we go. And now you see that the eye itself, I did it backwards the other time, is moving around and following the eye controller. Now, same thing here. Constrain, aim. Selecting the controller first, shift selecting the eye mesh. That will move that eye around. And let's turn shading wireframe on, shade it off. You'll see here the eye follows each eye individually. And this one will control both of them. So we start to get some animation there on the mesh. Um, the first thing that we actually have animating on the mesh itself and not just the joints. So that's the eye controllers. Um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for next time.